sow it and another reaper. I sent you to reap that were on ye bestow no labor. Other men labor and ye are entered into their labors. Yeah, so just like they were laboring back in the ancient time, we laboring again to what? To gather the elect. So y'all watch him out shot. When he come back, he can reap. And we all can uh, 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 live in joy together. You see? Those are spiritual wages. All right? Uh, Wisdom of Solomon. One and five. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee the scent and move from the seat and remove the thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide with unrighteousness coming in. So that's what happened to two thirds. That's why they can't receive it. You see? That's why they can't receive it. Read that again. I Wisdom of Solomon, one and five. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee, descent, deceit, Salakia, and remove from thoughts that are without understanding, yep. and will not abide when unrighteousness come in. Because two thirds are unrighteous. They they despise the word of the heavenly Father. They won't seek out of the book and read. They don't understand the prophecy. And just like the brother was saying, uh, uh, and like I was saying, even the brother was saying uh, they try to dissect it, but I was saying, no, nah, they can't dissect it because the most I got them blinded. They, uh, the, the understanding would flee from them because they, they, they saw this. They stupid and they wicked and they despise the counsel of the most high and they don't go into these scriptures to seek after the most high. Go ahead. Jeremiah 4 22 for my people is foolish they have not known me they don't know the most high see because the understanding have, have flee from them you see the most high got them blinded go ahead says for my people is foolish they have not known me the negro latino the native american go ahead they are sottish children, and they have no understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Sottish, sottish means stupid. Uh, you see? Read that again. Huh? This is Jeremiah 4, 22. Uh, For my people is foolish. They have not known me. That's talking about, that's, that's the most high speaking through Jeremiah. what he thinks you ought to do 
because he want to keep you in slavery. Yeah. The so-called white man don't want to go into captivity because he know, because he know, because he know who you are as a nation of people. He done studied you. He know these curses fall upon the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. He know that. I ain't talking about Joe Sixpack. I'm talking about the scholars. I'm talking about the elites. They know. They studied the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. And we gonna prove that they studied it. Go ahead. Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the way, and see and ask for the old path. Where is the good way? And walk therein. That's what you supposed to be doing. That's what you supposed to be doing. You see? Read that again. Jeremiah 6 and 16. Gun. Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see and ask for the old path. What's the old path? The prophecies that was given to Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Ezra, and so forth. And that's the counsel of the Most High and His Son. Go ahead. Where is the good way? This is the good way. Right here. Go ahead. And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your soul. What's rest? Because Israel ain't getting no rest. Israel getting slaughtered left and right. When you come back to this truth, when you come back to this truth, and Lord willing you endure, what he let gonna endure anyway. And your rest is gonna be the kingdom of heaven. So that's why the scripture says, seek ye out of the book and read. Go ahead. Read that one more time. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 6 and 16. Okay. Thus said the Lord, stand ye in the ways, and see and ask for the old path. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your soul. But they say, but they say, will we will not walk therein? See, that's our people. That's our people. What you doing? Go right. Go get one right quick. <laughs> this is uh, Matthew 11 and 29. Good. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, God. and ye shall find rest unto your souls. So that's right, man. You got to come into this truth, man. Because when you come into this truth, you learn about your heritage, and you learn who the most high this son is, according to the scripture. You find rest. And then the main rest is you getting delivered up out of this captivity and getting into the motherland, Jerusalem. And we're going to rule the whole earth, dominate with authority, you know, with who you ignorantly called God and Jesus, which the Hebrew name of Yahweh and his son name who you ignorantly called Jesus is Yahweh oh, Shah. Okay. Uh, you got done with that? I got one in Ezekiel 18 and 29. Okay. It says, yet save the house of Israel, the way of the Lord is not equal. O house of Israel, are not my ways equal? Are not your ways unequal? Yeah, because your ways, you listen to the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. And here it is, the Most High giving you a chance to come back, but you despise it. You despise the Most High counsel. You don't want to listen. You don't want to seek the ancient way. You see? You don't want to seek out of the book and read. You don't want to go into the history. You don't want to go into the prophecy. You don't want to hear the men of the Lord on the highways and byways speaking. Your ways are unequal. Go ahead. It says, verse 30, Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, said the Lord Yahweh. Because, because two-thirds got to die because they have made a covenant with death. You see? With the so-called white man and the white man is of sin. He's the devil that the Bible speaks of. They are a nation of Edomite. They descend from Esau. Uh, it says, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, said the Lord Yahweh, repent, 
and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. So iniquity shall not be your ruin. Yup. Yup. Because the most high is going to destroy this place. The most high is going to destroy America. You see? It says, cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed. And make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? Yeah. So the most high, the most high is giving you a chance. But you need to snap out of it. Or the mark gonna be destroyed. You can see what's happening on the internet. Those that you watch, those of you that watch the news on the internet, Al Jazeera, RTV, Press TV, Euro News. Not Fox Bubblegum and CNN Bubblegum News. You see? It's and the so alternative news stations on the internet. Go ahead. Verse 32. For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord Yahweh. Wherefore turn yourselves and live ye. Yeah. Jeremiah 25 and 4. his servants and prophets raising early and sending them so we are here early before the destruction come we are here telling you you see we are here telling you go ahead but ye but ye have not hearkened nor inclined your ears to hear they said turn ye again now anyone from this evil way and from the evil of your doings and, and dwell in the land that the Lord has given unto you and to your fathers forever and ever. Turn. You see? That's and, Jerusalem. Right. Verse 6. And go not after other gods to serve them. Yeah, what's the mother god? For them heathen nations. You see, these are idols. These are idols that will put up to deceive you. And this one right here is the biggest trap of them all. This one right here is the biggest trap of them all. Our people got these in the fridge everywhere, in the icebox. Everywhere, man. Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, they got, got seizure boys here everywhere. Martial law. Yeah. These people don't even know what martial law is. I'm 
many people don't even know what martial law What's martial law? It when military troops gonna be all over the street. And that's coming through real soon. To a, to a, to an avenue near you, that's coming
what the world say. Not what the scriptures say. You don't want to hear what the scriptures say. And we bringing our scriptures through the spirit of the Most High and the Son, proving that you don't want to hear the word. Go ahead. He says, therefore, the Lord shall have no joy in their young men. Neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows, for every one is an is an hypocrite and an evildoer, and every mouth speaketh folly. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Yeah, it's coming, man. It's coming. That's a prophecy that's coming, man. When the Most High, when the Most High get ready to lay this place flat, man, there ain't gonna be no mercy, man. Ain't gonna be no mercy. Because how you despise his word. How you gonna seek him out of the book and read. That's the cut to you people too, talking about the Lord love everybody. Yeah. He just, he just told you the ones who err, he ain't gonna, you know, he ain't gonna have no joy in destroying you, basically. You know, I mean, he ain't gonna have no joy. I mean, he says, therefore the Lord shall have no joy in their young men. No joy in his young men. Yeah, he should have no mercy on them, the ones who have been doing, you know, wickedly. You see? You know? So he basically ain't going to really care when he's dropping these missiles on you and his famines and these plagues, man. He going to be laughing at you. Because you made a covenant with death, man. Yeah. With sin and listen to Esau, man. Yeah. Because you don't want to come back to him. You don't want to, you don't want to apply this in your life. We're showing the James 1 and 21 on down. You, you do. don't want to apply this. Yeah. Isaiah 56 and 8. The Lord Yahweh which gathered the outcast of Israel said. Who is the outcast of Israel? Give me, uh, what is that, John 10 and 16? John 10 and 16. I have another sheet. Yeah. Uh, it's John and 16. Where you, where you at now? John 10 and 16. Okay. It says, and other sheep I have which are not of this fold. He was talking about the northern kingdom. Because at that time, you had Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And, uh, and the northern kingdom got cast out. Of Samaria. You had stragglers that stayed back, but the main ones that was over there were Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. So that's why he's saying that. And that's talking about the, the sheep not of this fold. That's talking about the northern kingdom. Because Yahweh Shah got to bring them in. Okay? Let's drop that. Read that again. Isaiah 56 and 8. The Lord. The Lord, the Lord Yahweh, which gathered the outcasts of Israel, said, Yet will I gather others to him, besides those that are gathered unto him. Isaiah 56 and 8. The Lord Yahweh, which gathered the outcasts of Israel, saith, Now, the outcasts of Israel. Now, we finna go into this book.
It says, most of us are familiar with the last scene in the popular Indiana Jones archaeological adventure film, Lost Raiders of the Lost Ark, in which an important historical artifact, the Ark of the Covenant from the temple in Jerusalem, is locked in a crate and put in a giant warehouse. Now you know that's blasphemy. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's blasphemy right there. Uh, hold on, let me read uh, this. Let me read this. Yeah, second, yeah, second Maccabees, I want to say. Yeah, two. Oh, I got two. this. This is just cut that. This is Second Maccabees, chapter two, verse uh, four. And it was also uh, contained in the same writings that the prophet being warned of the Mosiah commanded the tabernacle and the ark to go with him. And he went forth into the mountain where Moses climbed up and saw the heritage of the Mosiah. And when Jeremiah came thither, he found a hollow cave where, wherein he laid the tabernacle and the ark and, and the, the altar of the incense and stopped the door. The same and the same of those that followed him came to mark the way, but they could not find it. Which when Jeremiah perceived, he, he, he blamed them saying, as for that place, it shall not, it shall not be unknown until the time that the Most High gathered his people again together and received them unto mercy. Then shall the Lord show them these things and the glory of the Lord shall appear and the cloud also as it was showed unto Moses and when Solomon uh, desired that, that the place might be uh, honorable, uh, sanctified. So, so, so we not gonna get that, 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 that ark until we get back into the kingdom. Yeah, well, y'all, y'all wish y'all knew where it was at. <laughs> this is uh second paragraph. While the film was fiction, the scene in which an important ancient relic is buried in a warehouse is uncomfortably close to reality for many researchers. To those who investigate allegations of archaeological cover-ups, there are disturbing indications that the most important archaeology institute in the United States, the Smithsonian Institute, an independent federal agency, has been actively suppressing some of the most interesting and important archaeological archaeological discoveries made in America. The Americas. Good. So they've been suppressing it. So they ain't been letting it come out. You see? And, and that's part of them why they doing that archaeology and, and digging into the earth and finding artifacts. They keeping it suppressed. And then that's another thing to let you know that they studied the people who was over them, which was the which was the Latin tribes and the natives. The Native Americans. Okay? artifacts and ancient books in their vast cellars. Yeah, the Vatican. So they got they got all of, they got everything over there. They got part of it over there in the Vatican and uh, the Smithsonian Institute and in the Library of Congress. So they know. So they know. And they got part of it also in the uh, Kentucky in the uh, Gold Vault too. Oh, yeah, yeah, they got, yeah. they got, they got, they got a lot of documents there because a lot of people think it's gold there. They moved that gold like a long time ago. They have like documents, like the brother said. They got the old documents that they've been hiding. And a lot of them is in Kentucky, man. It says the Vatican has long been accused of keeping artifacts and ancient books in their vast cellars without allowing the outside world access to them. These secrets often of a controversial historical and religious nature are allegedly su suppressed by the Catholic Church because they might damage the church's credibility or perhaps cast their official text in doubt. Because if they bring out all that archaeology evidence, 
that the most high love the world and he gonna save everybody, that's gonna be thrown out. That doctrine gonna be thrown out. Because you gonna know who the, who the real chosen people is if they bring out all the artifacts. Because it's talking about us, the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Uh, it says, sadly, there is an overwhelming evidence that something is very similar is happening with the Smithsonian Institution. The Smithsonian Institution was started in 1829 in an eccentric British millionaire by the name of James Smithson, who died and left $515,169 to create an institution for the increase in diffusion of knowledge among men. Unfortunately, there is evidence that the Smithsonian has been more active in suppressing the knowledge rather than the diffusion of it for the last 100 years. Yeah, so so they ain't really, they, they've been oppressing it. They really ain't uh, diffusing it, meaning to spread it out. They basically make it be known what they got. So they ain't been, they ain't been bringing it out. The cover-up and alleged suppression of archaeological evidence began in the late 1880s, late 1881, when John Wesley Powell, the geologist famous for exploring the Grand Canyon, appointed Cyrus Thomas as director of the Eastern Mount Division of the Smithsonian Institution's uh, Bureau, uh, Bureau of uh, Ethnology. Yeah, so that right there, ethnology, that means uh, they go back to ethnology, yep. means to speak. Uh, basically, they go back to ethno, and, and uh, ology means to speak. So they know, they know who the chosen people is. Study of. You see, the study of, yep. the study of, uh, of uh, people's oh, heritage. It's just a racist heritage. 